Okay, this is the Heath Kit GR64 shortwave receiver. Got all the little pieces inside of it floating around that you always get. Put the vacuum tubes back where they belong. Okay, in this radio we have the 12BE6, 12BA6, 12AV6, and the 12AQ5. The uh, main air variable capacitor is very clean. On the other side is the band spread capacitor. It's a little dusty. Alright, this radio is a hot chassis radio. It doesn't have a uh, grounded plug or a polarity to it, so I have it plugged into the isolation transformer. The isolation transformer is plugged into the Variac. And I already know, switch it on, that on this Variac we set it to 95 and 95 will be 115 um, volts, AC volts. I have the Variac off. This dial's off, but um, I'll take it off and fix it later. It's off right now. Go go ahead and turn it on to about halfway on the volume, maybe a little bit lower. And it's set in AM right now, band A, and the BFO is all the way down. Okay, now I'm going to go to the Variac and crank it up like I showed you, slowly but surely. Okay, that's about 80 volts AC, lights are working, I don't have any audio. Okay, I hear something. We're going to go ahead and shut it down. I did hear a little bit of cracking in there. Okay, we'll have to get back in there and check out what's going on with the cracking. So here's the capacitor, and look what we've got on top of it, goobers, classic goobers. Look at that, big old hole in that cap, and these are common for doing that after a certain amount of time. I've already uh, found that we had a bad capacitor. I showed you that. 
but also this is kind of important. Can you focus? This is a ground and it comes up here to your power supply. So it's floating in there. You have a floating ground. And that was tagged to a bolt that's holding the power transformer. The AC transformer there. So it's just floating around. I was able to find the little nut, but I wasn't able to find the little bolt. Probably fell out. So that probably help. We'll get that ground and that bolt back in there to hold the transformer. I'm going to change all these resistors. Capacitor, the electrolytic capacitor. And once they're all disconnected, that's when I'm going to check this main uh, filtering cap and make sure it's in value. I've got the ground back. These uh, resistors fell off here. Who knows how many years they've been disconnected. Got the ground to the electrolytic capacitor. And we'll test the first cell. See what it reads. 23. And that's not bad because these leads here, you know, there's a little bit of loss or gain in this case. So that particular cell is good. Let's go for that one right there. A hundred and twenty. Okay, this is the assembly schematics for the Heath Kit GR sixty four. I have it upside down because I've matched it with the direction of my work that I'm doing. You always have to check uh, these radios real good when you get them because Heath kits are kits that were made. Well, most of Heath kits products were kits that are made for you to put together and assemble. And in this case, these two resistors were supposed to be on this rear post of the uh, capacitor, but instead were connected here. So what we're going to do too is we're going to check and make sure all the wires are connected correctly, all the resistors, diodes, and so on. And then we're going to check the whole radio now. And what I've noticed is there's either a kid or an old guy who put this together because everything is loose. So it wasn't a very strong grip. <laughs> we'll go through everything and get everything put together. But it is a clean unit that should start working once we get it all wired correctly.
the traffic commissioner. Well, I, I What do the people in the neighborhood think? The people in the How about the police who cover the area? Police? The school guard. How about a motorist who's had a close call? How about my colorful description of the light itself? <laughs> now, what's wrong with the fiery red glow, which once flashed like a one-eyed giant, now stands like a lonely, silenced sentinel? Who cares about one-eyed giants?